Let's see, on one. I got two words for you. What they call me, promise that you never be lonely. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to the home of the storage auction pirates. That's me. We are going to do some unboxing today. You can see my storage is completely full. Just boxes and boxes and boxes from the last unit we bought, that three pods. And we're gonna start going through these some more, get our inventory ready to roll for the flea market this weekend and put out some more unboxing videos for you beautiful people. Real quick before I get started, uh, please don't forget to hit the like button like 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 share this video and say something positive like i love you pirate or your pink hair looks silly or please put out another video something positive in fact anyway let's get to it all right first order of business we have here is we want to uh, get a little bit of help on these these are really nice porcelain asian style t probably 24 karat maybe 20 karat gold painted faces the first one like you have to really look at things. You start to look at like, see the quality, like they're nice, but if you look real close, see how they like painted over the gold trim, things of that nature. Still very, very nice. I just, they're not like, I believe, Ming Dynasty type style stuff. See the dripping of the liquid there. Very well done. Let's see what the bottom says. Nice. This one says Royal Satsume, I think, as well, but it didn't stamp very well. As you can see, both sides are painted very well. Oh, look, it's a pirate with a mohawk. Then we have this pair of tables. I think they're like a coffee table of some form, end table, I should say, but they might potentially house those two pieces on top of them. But they're very well done. I think I showed part of these real quick in the reveal the other day. I wanted to give a little more up depth. You can see they got some bird poop on it. They own birds. That needs to be cleaned off. I'm not really into cleaning things. Very well done. Very nice artwork. This one's more of a peacock scene. No, those aren't peacocks. I don't know what those are. Phoenixes? Could be phoenixes. Y'all know I like phoenixes. And underneath this one, it says Royal Satsuma. Well, there's some heavy gluing on this one, the porcelain finish. Then we have these two littler vases. They measure about two and a half feet tall. Yeah, the big one was more about three feet tall. I think these have a pretty much identical pattern on them. Also well done. You can see some writing there. That might help determine what's what, uh, country I should say would have made these this one has a chip right here so I don't know if that how much that's gonna increase the value on all this collection and underneath all we get is a made in China sticker uh, so I guess we uh, country of origin is now depicted come on it is not broken and it's just like a styrofoam matting on the bottom then we have these two beauties right here, these elephants. I love elephants. Look at this. We got like almost like a pirate ship. Look at that. To me, that's a pirate ship. I don't know about you. Use your own judgment. Very well done. A lot of artwork to this one. A lot of intricacy. A lot of gold trim. This one looking pretty much identical. I love the, the purple ears. It's almost like having a pink mohawk. Trunk upwards definitely means good luck. Very nice on that aspect. And on the bottom, all we got is a Made in China sticker. This is not a bad little ceramic flower pot vase little collection. I don't think these are super high end. Once again, like I said, I don't think they're Ming Dynasty. I don't think they're Quang Dynasty, et cetera, et cetera. But they're great novelty decorative pieces, very ornamental. If anybody has an idea what you think I'm gonna sell elephant for or a little coffee table with the vase on it, comment below, let me know your opinion. Once again, keep in mind that I live in the flea market world, maybe a little bit of Craigslist. I don't live in the perfect world, so I'm not out here trying to press these for a top dollar. The key is turn and burn. You wanna milk your good items, but these I don't think are high end. They're just like, ooh, these are cute, maybe a 50, that's my guess. Let me know in the comments below. This is kind of cool. Inside of this box with the vase was a couple other boxes. So let's see what we got in here. This one just says simple to go. I don't think there's anything in there. Ready when you are. 
That's some, it's like a food delivery box or something. What is that? It's empty. Oh, what is this? Memory chest. Chaps and vest. Oh boy. Craig. What is this? Looks like nothing. Looks like nothing. And I was right. It is a tablecloth, a tire cover. This is a really big hair thingy. Look, a shower. It's a shower cap. Is that what it is? No. I don't know. Round gold alabaster. And it doesn't say. Let's see what was in the memory chest. Huh. This is like a wedding box. I don't know what in the tarnations these are. They must be for a child. Like, is that a leg? Is that a, what is that for? I don't know. Maybe they go like this. There's two of them. Okay, I get it now. There's two checks. This is a little vest. Look at this thing. For real? I think I'm gonna save this for baby Jeebus the next time I see him. I could picture this fit in him. I don't know what you guys think. What do you guys think? Comment below if you think baby Jeebus, treasure hunting with Jeebus' little brother, would fit into these little chaps. I think he would. So I would call him baby Jeebus. All jokes aside, these are pretty nice. I don't know. They're probably some kid's outfit from back in the day because chances are he was born a long time ago. Very well made though. You don't see stuff made with this type of quality anymore. Look at the little vest right here. Look at that. Real leather. This is something else. I like it. Okay, this is a, uh, I wanted to use this uh, for a scale model here. I thought I thought of you when I saw this baby Jeebus. I thought this might fit you. It's a cute little uh, vest and chap set for a cowboy. And um, I wanted to use the little doll, the American Girl doll, because I thought it would be a good scale model for you to see how it would fit compared to you. What do you think? Let me know. Comment below when you see this video, baby Jeebus. Under the blanket of the vase was this right here. Short Circuit. Who remembers this movie back in the day when this came out? This would be one of my favorite movies. What is it? Number five is alive. Every time I hear that, I think my boy Scott, you guys seen him in my video recently where I bought the automobile unit. Storage Scott. You can actually find him on YouTube. If you could, please subscribe to his channel. He is uh, now part of the pirate team putting out YouTube videos. He'll be another uh, member out there with me, the Storage Stalker, Jack the Locker Nuts, Michaela the Salt Princess, all of us who have been doing this out here. You will see him uh, probably popping up in our videos. But he always quotes this movie. It makes me think of him when I see this. Uh, number five is alive. Looks like we have clothes here. See real quick if we have any great clothes. We've been pulling out a lot of new clothes, so that's what we're looking for. Like this. Look at that. What is this? A new skirt. Okay, it's not that impressive. Tags. Look at that. Here we go. Massimo. A dollar ninety-eight. Wow. Big money. Okay, this clothes box is not that cool. Not impressed. We got some lingerie again. Nice. What do we got here? Look at that cute little shirt. Okay, there's no hidden jewelry boxes on the bottom of this clothes box. Now, this is something right here. It says right on the box, branded towel. This is what, to me, like why I like storage units. Like, look, here's a, here's a decent towel. Here's a decent towel, but look, boom, all brand new towels. You just take this whole towel set home and you have new towels. Look at those are Tommy Hilfinger towel sets too. Those are what's hot right down the streets. $19.99 compared to $36, but still, where are you gonna get brand new towels like that just for nothing all the time? I swap out my towels and all sorts of things. Living off of storage units is literally what I do in all aspects. This is just all towels. Right now I'm selling towels, regular towels for two bucks a piece at the flea market. This is easily a $20, $25 box right here. Probably 30 because I'm not counting them. There's more than 10 towels in there. Okay, upon further inspection, I just got to show this real quick. Every one of these towels are brand new. It's a little bit ridiculous, but they are all brand new. We got Ralph Lauren towels. They got the tag cut, so I don't know what that means. But Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren. 
more all of them are brand new i guess it really meant new towels when it said new towels because every one of them have a tag interesting that's pretty good things in bed sheets we gotta kind of check everything because like I said, you don't know when people have good stuff there's there's a chance of them putting something in anything so look at obviously ralph lauren was their brand you know labels and stuff ralph lauren's not small time they're not small time i'm not that's a kind of a cool sheet set i would probably i would probably rock that one but it's looking like it's just regular old towels and sheets okay what do we got here a fanny pack nope a strap nothing always check the corners dudes oh i see a new clothes what do we have here who victoria what is your secret i'm loving that some type of pajama is a large made in china that's probably at least 30 bucks right there on ebay what do we got unmentionable we can't show that got a cool looking shirt right here prize fighter who is that comment below if you know who this boxer is right here we won't show his name let's continue on Ooh, we got some let's take some of this out here i see new clothes and that's what i'm really looking for is new stuff with tags here we go we got a jancy's what is this jancy's brand new with the tags i'm overlooking used clothes for now because i don't have uh need to really be going through just new clothes a two-piece set but i only see one piece there we got some more of those boxer shirts looking for vintage sweaters sports sweaters players grill that sounds kind of cool i think i'm going to keep this for michaela jordan i could see michaela jordan rocking this sweater she'll like that she wears sweaters even when it's hot outside that's it for new tags in here, guys. That's it for new tags. That says Victoria's Secret. No. I look for labels because you never know what, what, what is that? Polo. See, that's a good shirt. That's a good brand. Those are, what in the God's green earth are these? They're weird. Look at the, look at the bottom of those. Look at those pants. Those are like bell bottoms. Levi's, that's three bucks a piece at the flea market. Looks like we have another closed box. Clothes is not going to be very exciting here. I know. People are probably in the comments like, I don't want to see no more clothes, pirate. And other people are like, this is some nice clothes because you can't please everybody. That's almost a cute shirt. American Eagle. Michaela's been keeping a lot of American Eagle stuff lately. I don't know if this is something that she would wear. But for some reason, this brand has been one of her things. It's kind of cute. Kind of cute. We'll set it aside for her. She likes things that are cute. Um, clothes, clothes. I don't see any tags. No tags. We're simply looking for stuff with tags. A little bit of sexiness there. A little bit more. What do we got here? What's this? A little skirt. That's probably cute. Look at that. Definitely cute. Not My daughter would not wear that, though. She is a tomboy. Sure, many of you know that already. So I think that we're going to just skip the rest of this box because look at this. It's just clothes and I don't see tags. No hidden jewelry boxes. Always want to get to the bottom. No hidden jewelry boxes. All right. What do we got here? Ooh, nice. Jackpot. Jackpot. Look at this. Ralph Lauren, brand new. $95. Ooh. Damn it, Gina. Look at that. $95. We are now sending a two. Whoo. Is this a third one? $95. I don't know what the heck that's going to sell for on eBay. Granted. You see price tags. Price tags don't mean nothing. They really don't. What do we have here? I don't know if you heard me earlier saying something about Lacoste. Lacosta. Lacosta being a good brand i don't know what the price is on this let's see if we can get up in here let's see if we can get up in here and get a price on these the costa stretch the costa 72 dollars for this look, look i'm gonna murder the word if i keep saying it 
We got a yellow one. We have an orange one. Same thing, $72. And we have another yellow, $72. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That clothes box got exciting real quick. Then we get into some new jeans. What do we got here? Levi's jeans, $48. Look at that. Price tag still on them. What size are we? We are a 16W with the medium boot cut. Nice. This box paid off in the clothes department. Are we it for new clothes? Is that it? I think that's it. Nope, that's not it. I see more coming. I see more coming. What do we got here? Another pair of brand new Levi's Petite 16P, $44 price tag on those bad boys. That's $88 in brand new jeans right there, right? Is that what we're sitting at now? Let's set those ones over here. Let's see if we can come up with any more new jeans. Got to throw that off there. It gets to be a messy. I don't know if you guys uh, ever bought a storage unit and actually had to go sorting through everything, but it is a mess when you try to go through these boxes. Let's see. Jeans, jeans, jeans. Nope. We're going to come across another pair of brand new jeans. What do we got here? We got your 6th Avenue Wide Leg. Those don't look as cool. They're like shorts. Still, brand new. I like brand new. That's what we're looking for here in these. What is, what is this right here? The Steelers? Are you kidding me? The Steelers? For real though? Uh, what? What is this? Great. Where did they get this at? The, the dollar store? Scarf regular hats and cars Ooh, ooh, ladies and gentlemen what do we have here what do we have here uh, this motion uh, go a's now we're talking now we're talking the 49ers greatest football team ever assembled two brand new hats those are vintage 49er hats are doing pretty good on eBay. Okay, they're not doing really good, but they're going to do good again because we're going to win the Super Bowl this year, and their stock's going to go way up. These are nice. This one's a little used. We will say, we'll take great care of these right here. These are very valuable. Season, 60 seasons. Dive Shark. And that ended that box of lovely goodies. What do we got in here? Just some scarves and hats. Ooh, jewelry? No. What is this? What is this? Really? Is this a tobacco pipe? Nice. Nice. That's what you expect to find when you're shopping through your hat bag. Ooh, let's go on to this now that we're done with that. Hats, hats. Of, ooh, look at this one. Look at this right here. This one's kind of almost cute. You know, I like these type of hats. You wear them, you got the little ears on the side. And it's like, what's up? See, look at the flopping. Ooh, yeah. Or you could tuck them in like this when it's super cold. And you could be all cute and cuddly. Look at that. See? These are nice. I might have to keep this one. It is downright never a dull moment around the storage facility and in Martinez. There is always something going on. It's like a drunk woman maybe. She's just passed out drunk over there. I'm just assuming drunk, don't get me wrong. Don't don't get me in the comments. Now everybody's gonna be like, Pirate, you're just out here assuming people are drunk. Well, I know Martinez very well. They're probably intoxicated on something and passed out drunk at a 7-Eleven parking lot. But that's life. Purses, hallway stuff. What could be in hallway stuff? First thought, right here, first thought, looks intriguing. We got some Sally Hansen, look at that, wax hair remover for your face. I could probably use some of that, get rid of my beard. Looks to be brand new. Nope, yep, nope, yep. All right, anybody out there need that, comment below. Oh, look at this, sweet baby Jeebus, I love cars. Who knows the names of these guys? Look at this, look at this. That, isn't this Mater? This Mater right here? 
That is Mater. Look at that. Oh my. These are cool. Lightning McQueen. I knew the name of that one. Who's he? Who's he right here? Womp, 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 womp. Hi, I'm Mr. Cool Eyes. Look, I'm kind of shy. Looks like an old guy. Oh, what's this? They, they roam. Oh, beautiful. Look at putting those aside. <sighs> Just the camera. Parlor pool. Interesting. Made in Francois. In France. Those are actually kind of dope. Look, we got the the numbers. I'm not like exactly cool with the numbers. Three, six, nine. Oh, I like six, nine. Those are what's my one of my favorite numbers. So I guess that's kind of cool. Cool factors went up on those cups. What else we got in here? Oh, I think we got purses. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stop, ladies and gentlemen. Time out. What does this say right here? Ikug? Psych. Ooh, ooh, what is that right there? Listen, that sounds like something's in there. Oh my, we will save this to the end of this box right Her. What do we got? I love Fructis Garnier. Garnier Fructis. I love this shampoo. We'll be taking that home. Kids go through shampoo like nobody's business. You won't even believe. I'm sure you would actually because you probably have kids. And you know that they're just a handful and they're always going through shampoo and all sorts of things way too fast more of these i found some of these the other day and i don't know what they are i feel like maybe they're a little more special than they look anybody know what these are are these christmas ornaments or not sure not sure a scentsy candle we have so many scentsy pots or whatever you call them what do we got here? Kenneth Cole Reaction. So was this a perfume bag? It's kind of cool. It's kind of cute. You get a little backpack action going. Looks, it looks ripped. Price just went down. What do we got here? Ooh, -hoo. what does it say on the front? Cole Han? Is this a Cole Han? Let's see. That is a Cole Han, brand new purse. Shout out to uh, Kohan for making quality purses at an affordable price, I think. Whew, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this coach purse. Look at this coach purse right here. That's cute. That is cute, as Michaela Jordan would say. She's not here with me today. Shout out to the Salt Princess. She's busy off doing teenage. I just graduated things, but don't forget to check out her channel because she is putting out videos and shout out to her for hitting a thousand subs. She's missing some great unboxings here because she could be here with uh, Father Pirate going through these great things, finding all these great cute finds. Look at that. Look at that price tag. It was marked down. So she said, I'm buying it. Why not? When all they have to do is sla slash the money and makes a sale. That's my tactic on eBay. Start it high, put it on a sale, gobbles it right up. Carrying on in the purse department, because this unit just seems to be full of purses. We got a Gap purse. That's not very cute. What do we got here? Ooh, look at that paper. Can you guess right now? I'm not even going any further. Can you guess what kind of purse is in here? Can you comment below and say, I know what kind of purse is in there, pirate? Boom, you guessed it. Brand new coach. Look at that. It's kind of like a little wristlet. A little wristlet. 98 marked down to 89. This is just sweet. What y'all think about this? What am I selling a little purse like this for? What am I selling a little purse like this for? Carrying on, we have a Kate Spade purse. Look at this. Oh, wow. My. This is how excited I get when I find a Kate Hurd purse. Kate, Kate Spade purse. Kate... Kate, whoever. It's a Kate. It's named after Kate. We're just going to leave it at that. Made in China. Mm, look at Cocoa Pebbles in there or something. What got going on in this one? All right. One more. What do we got here? What do we got here? What is... Oh, 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 oh. Christian to Christian to Christian Dior. Man, they don't make them like this no more. 
uh, ass because I'm um, that sure. This is a genuine. This is nice. This is vintage Christian Dior. If you know your purses, you know women's stuff right now and brands. Vintage Christian Dior is pretty hot right now. I'm not going to speculate what I think that's worth. Okay, I'm going to speculate. If I had to guess right now, I could probably sell this one for 100 bucks. believe it or not, because it's vintage. It's Christian Dior. It's got the pattern. I like it. Now we have some cool little models. This is just the nice little finest. I usually keep my models with my purses. Get it? No pun intended. Ha ha. Fireball. Hoo hoo. Studying name right there. It's like, look at me. I'm, I'm wild. My name is Fireball. Ace is wild. Look at that. Realistically, on eBay, that's about 10 to 40 bucks for the three of those. I'm guessing. What do we have in this box here? Let's, let's see. Do we think that's what's in there? Are we going to guess more Christmas? I already have one of these I set aside for myself. Are we going to have another one? Because I will keep two sets of... Yes, that's what it is. Brand new. In the box. Ta-da. Now, for the moment you've been waiting for... This... Uh, this uh, ooh. What do you think's in here? Before we go any further, I'm going to stop right now. We're not going to do nothing. We're just going to be pausing. Do, do, do. What do you think is in this box? If you had to guess right now, is it going to be a wallet, a purse, a scarf? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let's see. On one. And one. Nice. First off, let's start here. Gucci. December 16th, 1976. That was a good year. Ladies and gentlemen, do I detect a key just sitting there? Does it actually work? Ooh, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. That's a key. That's a key to my heart right there. We're going to lock it up in this purse. I think this is real. The quality of this brass, like it's not like the most finest quality because this is vintage Gucci. This is not like Gucci from last week. This ain't the latest line you're going to be seeing introduced on Jeffree Star's channel. This is like vintage 19, obviously 76 Gucci. Look, we got another key. We got two spare keys. This is good. I have no idea what this is worth in value. I can pretty much assure you that this is legitly real. Somebody, please right now help me out comment below and tell me what this beautiful gucci i don't know what, what how, let me see like how, like how do you rock this thing there's not even a strap like it's gonna drop like you just walk around like this is that how you're supposed to do it let's see here look at that you just walk around like this and holding it all times like up against you is that what you do with this or do you walk around like hey let me hold it let me get my stuff out like how does this purse work no that ain't gonna work the art of making a thumbnail ladies and gentlemen these are the awkward things you do it's time for a thumbnail. I gave up on making thumbnails of just photos because it's too hard. So I'm doing ridiculous stuff like this. Like, here, look at my purses. Trying to get the, the words right. If you get it right there and you screenshot, you're like, my eyes. We need to show my eyes. Let's go with my eyes. Let's do this a little better. All right, let's try this now. Ridiculous, huh? Trust me, I feel ridiculous when I'm doing this. When I'm like, all right. Hope you all enjoy these ridiculous bloopers that I'm now adding to the end of the videos because uh, the whole point is just having fun. I have fun. I want y'all to laugh. I want you to enjoy what you watch. So don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe button. Stay tuned. Plenty more videos from the Storage Auction Pirate. <sighs>